I'm an old hippie, baby. I don't hate nobody. Okay, ready? My name's Ken Ladd, right? I'm here to support the young people over here. We were where they are back then, in the 60s, we were back then, um, you know, protesting, uh, you know, injustice back then. Um, what I'm here for is support the cause of getting rid of corporate lobbying, but I'm here for even a bigger picture. Besides corporate lobbying, you have political lobbying, okay? Um, corporate lobbying will leave you broke, as we are many in the condition of the country. The political lobbying that's been going on for years will leave you dead. Um, if anybody Googles USS Liberty, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's been an effective political cover-up since the 60s. Uh, so as much as we have no say in our economy, um, you know, go visit your congressman. You'll find sitting to you, next to you a millionaire lobbyist. Who's the congressman you're going to listen to? You or the lobbyist? Million-dollar lobbyist. That, what are they paying them for? You know, my business, I'm a crane guy. I'm in a construction business. In my business, that's called racketeering. And that's why everybody here is disgusted, because it's racketeering is what they feel. You may not be able to associate the name with, with, the, with, with what they're doing, but the name is called racketeering. When you leave a bundle of money on, for, on a table for someone, they're there to do your bidding. When they take that money, whether in the form of campaign funds or perks or trips to foreign countries, they want something back in return, okay? And that's called racketeering. That's why our country's been sold out, not only financially, but politically. We have no say. The vote that they think that we have is a sham because they don't listen to us, okay? Voting Democrat or Republican is like going into an ice cream store with two flavors, vanilla and chocolate. It's the same old ice cream, nothing changes. The only way it's going to change is right now with the young people out here. There's a difference between now and the 60s. It's back in the 60s, we were tranquilized, you know? But over here, there's nobody smoking pot, nobody high, nobody drinking, everybody's politically astute, educated, and they can feel the pain on their butts. They can feel the squeeze. Graduating from college with hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in loans, in student loans that can't be recovered, and jobs that are not being given out. One percenters, your time has come. And all political lobbying and all, all financial lobbying and all lobbying at all. One vote, one person. That's it. Give us the vote back.